Hi everybody, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do overcasting on plastic canvas. So I just stitched up a really, really small little square. As you can see, it's not even square, it's a rectangle. But I just stitched up one. So what you need is your scissors, some more yarn, your needle, and of course your project. Okay, so what I do, so I just do a length of yarn. And I like to start in a corner, doesn't actually matter which corner, but make sure you have your right side. So this is the back side, and then this is the front side. So I always come up from the bottom in a corner, and then leave about, you know, I like to go a little shorter than the length of it. You know, at least go down a, a few extra holes down. So I hold it down. And then when you just wrap it around, then slowly, ever so slowly, I'm trying to show you a good picture of this here, is you want to have your needle come to the side before you go into the next hole. If you can kind of see that, it's hard to see. But you want to be on, so you're actually wrapping in your tail into this as you go. And then don't let it wrap over your hand, which I did. Oops. There we go. All right. And then it'll look like that to begin with. And then you just go keep going around. And, and since you're, you're just kind of tacking down your tail as you're going. I keep grabbing my scissors with the yarn like that and then when I get to the when you get to a corner I like to do two and I'll show you why because I have one go kind of that way and then have one go since you're turning a corner go this way but now and then you just keep going keep going it's very hard to see And just keep going around. Okay, so let's say I don't want you sitting here watching me the entire day. Okay, so let's say I'm at the end. So what I do is I actually go back in the opposite direction because as you can see there's spaces in between. Like you can see the corner here and then in between here. So I like the look when it gets when you go the opposite direction because you're kind of crossing back over what you did covering up the little holes and then in the corner you just do one stitch instead of two which I don't, for me I like it but you can also do two in each one as you go and do three in the corner right away and just go in one direction I like to go both And then I always, when I'm doing a corner, I always hold with my other hand so they put a little, keep a little tension on it. And then... I'm hoping to get a new camera so then I can actually, I want to get a GoPro so I can actually stick it on my head. So you can actually see from my angle because this is really hard to do and 
So you see, it kind of gives it a more finished edge when you go one direction and then the other direction. Try to get that in the light real nice. There you go. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can message me on Facebook, uh, Kelly's Craftwork on Facebook. Just find me there. Um, or message, you know, leave a comment here, message me. I am starting to try to do more videos uh, once I get everything set up. They'll be a lot better quality than what I got going right now. So thank you for bearing with me. And if you have any questions again, just let me know. All right, thank you.